Alrighty, so finally, the conclusion to this devastating story. Let's get ready to put this behind us. Welcome to Gotham. Xenobites. Welcome back to another video YouTube. You've clicked on Gotham Cenobites. I'm Terry and today is going to be the review portion of Prime One Studios The Devastator which I'll go ahead and put the tag um, somewhere on this right now and then of course it'll be at the end as well for you to click on um, the unboxing and in that video you'll see that it arrived broken but um I'm happy to report, I mean, I think here we are um, two, three, three weeks later, and it's already been shipped to a guy, repaired, shipped back. So um, once again, throughout this whole process, I just want to thank, thank you so much, um, Todd from Spec Fiction. This has been amazing, the way this whole thing has gone down. I can't thank you enough, and I don't really know... Um, what the guy's name is that repaired the statue. If you happen to be watching this, thank you as well. Um, so what we're going to do now is uh, <laughs> I took a video of me with the pedestal because it's back right here. Um, I took a video of me moving it. So we're going to watch that and then probably, probably uh, what did I say at the end of that video? The origin will come after that and then we'll get into um, we'll get into opening um, the repaired arm, putting it on the statue finally, and uh, yeah, I'll meet back here um, to wrap up. Of course we're gonna get, you know, close-ups as well, but um, yeah, I'll meet you back here and I'll give you my final thoughts and we'll put this thing to rest. Oh, man, I think it's tough every time. The torso scares the shit out of me, honestly. I may just try to leave it intact when I put him back. God damn. But uh, I'm going to catch my breath, and uh, what's coming at you next is going to be the, um, the origin portion of this video, and then we'll meet you back here to put on the uh, arm that's coming back today. So we'll put that on, and then we'll get you measurements and do a full review on this thing. So the origin of Devastator is up next. Alrighty, so the Devastator. Who is he? I'm only going to go a very, very brief once over. But first we're going to talk about the cover of this book. Um, I love the cover. I love the fact that Prime 1 takes their inspiration directly off the covers um, of their individual books. Um, this Devastator, he's not exactly in the same pose. But, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm grateful 
um, Prime 1 went the route they did, but they kept the eagle he's standing on, and um, kind of the legs are the same, or one's up, one's down. I mean, that, their direct inspiration is still very much off the cover of this book. Alrighty, so Devastator Story is the Batman of Earth, negative one, and the Superman of this Earth has gone crazy, all injustice style, and he's killing a bunch of people. The last straw for Batman was when he killed Lois Lane, so he got his Kryptonite Spear and went out to try to do battle with Superman. Superman, with one look, one stroke, cuts his arm off with the spear, uh, with his heat vision, and then proceeds to tell him, I never understood, Bruce, why the Justice League members, some of them actually said you could beat me head to head if we never held back. And do you understand that I could break you in half with only a breath? I could freeze your heart with the slightest touch. I could break every bone in your body. And what do you have? A spear. Do you understand how weak you all are to me? That's when Batman says, yes, damn it, I do. He activates something in his belt. What is it? It is the Doomsday Virus, and it quickly infects Bruce, turning him into the Devastator, to which Superman never even sees this coming. And you see his arm growing back in this shot. Um, arm goes back, and a swoof, swift punch to Superman's face in one hit. He grabs him by the head, headbutts him into the ground, and breathes in him in his face with some kryptonite breath says now who's weak to which superman ingests it and spears spikes <laughs> not spears spikes start shooting out of superman's body um effectively killing this superman so devastator ends up walking away saying i didn't save anyone but i could have saved everyone um so his only regret was that he used this doomsday virus too late but then, out of nowhere, like always, Batman Who Left shows up and tells him, What would you think if I told you there is a world I could take you to where you could save everyone? So he's like, Bring me there. <laughs> and that's pretty much Devastator's origin in a nutshell. Um, the rest of it I'll save for you to read yourself. Um, it's a pretty good book. And the whole metal event I love. But I do want to highlight this one shot in the book when he's at Earth Zero. One of the first people they show him fighting is Lobo. And this is a great scene in the book. But he ultimately um, grabs one of Lobo's hooks, hooks it in his own hook, swirls him around, and throws him at the sun, killing Lobo. That's one of the best scenes I think of in the book. And I'm going to end it with this shot. This is all six of the regular Dark Knights. Um, the leader, the... Uh, Nick Fury of the Dark Multiverse makes seven, seven Dark Knights, and all I need from this shot now is Murder Machine. So, that's going to do it for the origin part. I hope you guys enjoy, and here comes the review. Okay, the arm just came back today, so now we're going to hope. Are you going to say what happened? I mean, it's just, the people are lucky I'm not crazy in real life. It's just on the internet. <laughs> because she she dropped the box that said fragile and kicked it around to the front door. She kicked it? She was walking and she dropped it. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out the town, right? All right, despite the plane softer with it, we're good. <laughs> One more truth, buddy. Um, 
am I gonna carry it? Let's <laughs> get measurements. Wasn't able to do this without the hands on it. So. 39 and a quarter? No, 38 and a quarter. So hard to do, right? I'd probably say twenty five and a half wide. This dude. Yeah, he's every bit of thirty inches deep. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy seeing him on the desk now with that arm.
Alrighty, so there you are, the close-ups, um, the arm came back intact, um, it is a little loose, but I'm looking at the peg and looking at the hole, I don't think it was a repair or anything like that as to why it's loose, I think the peg just looks bigger than the hole, <laughs> pause, but um, the magnet sticks, but I mean the arm just kind of moved um, more than I'd like, so... Um, if you're around in our YouTube community, you all know who Buck Fangs is. I mean, I reached out to him, asked his advice, because my crazy ass was just wanting to glue it, and, like, the arm is now part of the torso. But he kind of recommended uh, Blue Tech, so I um, stuck some on the peg, stuck some on the arm, and I'm happy to report. Um, if you guys saw the video, you, you know my desk here is kind of it's anchored to the wall with um, four studs, but it does kind of still slightly rock. So grabbing the arm now with blue tack and kind of trying to move it, it moves the whole the whole thing. It's no longer moving loosely. So I'm happy to report. I definitely feel a whole lot better um, about it. It's not really loose. It doesn't move at all. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much my only gripe. Um, shout out to Phoenix. Um, I do have one of his custom capes. I don't know if I'm going to burn it and put it on here. I kind of like the way it looks now, and you'll see a picture. Um, I like the way it looks now with the flag kind of under his foot. Not flag. <laughs> Superman's cape is kind of like in the mud and his foot's on it. And it's the one that came with the statue, so... <clears throat> Um, I left the capes on, or put the capes on, for those close-ups for the video, but they're back, they're back in the closet. I think he looks great, and going off some of the comic shots, the cape is not that long. Um, it may go to his mid, middle of his back. To me, I think Prime 1, I think, if I can remember correctly, the prototype, the cape was shorter. Um, but yeah, the cape is just too fucking long. Um, it's... It's pleather, so I could just imagine it's it's going to deteriorate and it's you know cleaning it. I don't know if you guys notice, but um none of my Batmans have capes. So shout out to Phoenix one more time. I appreciate you trying. And I still ultimately may do a, a short of me and the kid, me and Liam. I'm having some fun with my HVAC torches and um, I still may do that. I'm just not gonna be in a rush to do it. We'll see. Um, as far as the statue goes, I would say it's my. Maybe you could just say it's because it's my latest statue, but it's definitely my favorite now in the line. Um, having Mercy here, every time I record, I mean, I think he's climbed up pretty high on my favorite list too. So I can't wait to just always be staring at this thing. If you guys don't know now, you know my bed is right there. And this is my nightstand. He's he's pretty much on my nightstand slash desk. So I uh, can't stop staring at it, man. I love it. Um, the paint in some places um, is is pretty dull. Um, and I did say it in the unboxing, and I'll go ahead and put some pictures up right now. But some of the plastic, the horns or spikes that stick up in the back. Some of the plastic had stuck to it, and I peeled it off as best I could. I didn't want to go further. You can't see it. It's pegged in in the back of this thing. You'll never see it. But yeah, I'm overall, I think the paint could be a little more detailed. It lacks a lot of depth, a lot of shadow, but um, that's just my opinion. I love the fact that the Kryptonite Spear is on it, but where I have it now, you don't ever see it. Um, I'm sure I could take it out and, and stick it wherever I want, but I like the fact that it pegs into the base. I just wish it wasn't going out of the bag. And um, if you guys really paid attention to that sped up video, all I did was bump the spear and it fell right out the magnet. It's not very strong, so hate it, but also love it. It's in an area I will never bump it again where he's sitting right now, but um. I believe that's really my only negatives. I mean, the cape is what it is. Could have been shorter, but um, ultimately, even if it was, I would not have used it. But um, I would probably say <clears throat> it's not, it's not perfect. 
but nine nine point five out of nine point five out of ten. Well well done, um, Prime One. I can't wait to see Harley who laughs in person. She is up next, but um, nine point five out of ten. Um, as far as the faces or portraits, I really only wanted the uh, regular. Um, if you follow the story, what happened happened. Um, I end up with a deluxe, and I'm I can't tell you how much happier I am that I made that decision because the uh, um, I got it right here but um, the head I like the least going off the, the uh, pictures it's this one it is definitely my favorite so between the um, the regular head um, and this one I'll keep them out but um, you'll see this picture uh, I don't really remember what's right what's left but the clenched teeth and then the regular portrait I'll definitely use the other one well shit it's right here <laughs> this one is getting packed away I mean I don't really like the ears I like the ears on the other two a lot better and I don't really like the mouth but on the one I do like and this one I mean the mouth is really well done tongue paint it's great I just don't like it <laughs> But yeah, um, I'm happy I went with Deluxe. And uh, let's see what else. I'll show you some pictures, I guess, on my face right now of where he is right now. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's crazy to come full circle here at almost the end of 2024. Um, I didn't think I would get him or Merciless. And just, I remember, this is the first video I made of a, first video, the first piece I made of a Gotham gavel that has entered um, the collection. Um, but yeah, just to come full circle, I didn't think I would have Merciless or Devastator because I knew they wouldn't fit in this shelf. But seeing Devastator, I knew there's no way I could pass on Devastator. So I went ahead, purged all the Marvel, sold enough to fund Merciless plus more. And here we are. Now Devastator's here. I I love this piece. I still love the line. There's not really one statue I don't like. Um, surprising a lot of people. I think Batman Who Laughs has dropped towards the bottom of the list. That's just me. But um, when see, Harley's coming next, and then hopefully sometime by this time next year, I'll have Murder Machine as well. I'm not going to do a ranking video um, this early, but once Murder Machine is here and I get that unboxing and review and let it sit and marinate, um, I will do another um, ranking video of uh, how I think they rank, which is my favorite. It was Red Death for so long, but now it's Devastator. And if you didn't know, um, follow me on social media. You can't really tell because it's so dark here now, but that's kind of the point. You used to be able to see how bad this shelf looked, but I went ahead, I sanded them, stained them, and then, of course, coated them. The shelf looks a lot better. And while I'm talking, I probably knowing me, I put a video up of it. But yeah, in that process, I kind of broke some of the bats, moving him off of Red Death, but it was the two that stuck way out to the right. Um, so there's nothing showing on the statue now. And I think it looks better, more narrow. I mean, those two bats that stuck way out. It's unfortunate, and it is what it is, but I'm gonna leave them off. I'm gonna pack them away with this motherfucker. <laughs> but that is going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, the origin, me ranting, and uh, it is nice to close the book on this so um, special thanks again um, to Todd and whoever the repair guy is and just a big thank you to John the everyday collector and his group chat I've been keeping them up to date about everything it's just, it's just nice to have a place I can go to talk to about people I like about this stuff <laughs> the wife can only listen so much but uh, that is going to do it you guys, um, if you haven't already, subscribe, like the video, please, and let me know in the comments. 
Do you guys like the piece? Um, it's it's way bigger. It's way bigger in person. Trust me. I probably would say it's just as big or bigger as a LBS one third Hulk. I mean, he's. <sighs> you saw me struggle in the video. I did not remove the torso when I put him back. I kind of bear hugged the whole thing and walked the little four feet. <clears throat> yeah. I struggled every single time putting that fucking torso back on. I wasn't going to do it again. <laughs> Alright, but for real, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, whatever it ends up being, I'll see you on the next one.